lot of concern about the absorptive capacity. But so far, so far, uh, based on our uh, analysis, so far, uh, uh, tumatama naman kami sa target. So, ako naman, natutuwa naman ako. At, uh, at least, uh, uh, the, D the DPWH is, uh, the, the people of the DPWH, all 15,000 of them are uh, working double time to make sure that our targets are reached. You have how many regional directors? How many? 17. 17. And each of them are a specific target? Yes, course. yes. Malang sila may specific target. We incentivize, we even have, we're even having awards. But you know, yung mga best performing in terms of absorptive capacity, in terms of uh, variance of bidding. Oh. Dapat medyo malaki yung variance para ibig sabihin masigla yung bidding. And there's no, uh, there's no collusion. Mm -hmm. So, Based on those uh, performance metrics, we judge our, uh, our, 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 uh, our employees. And you, the usual, uh, you said about the usual, have you broken the back of those, uh, and how those uh, uh, leaders na to could do? We're, we're doing our best. That's why, um, like I said, yung analytics, napaka important yung variances. Hindi pa yung dayain yun. At the same time, we're using technology to defeat corruption. Uh, example, we have a new software, yung PCMA software. Dati kasi puro uh, Excel, Excel, uh, manual ang pinagawin nila. Now, we have a specific software designed for project management, project monitoring, utilizing uh, utilizing uh, uh, geotagging. So, pag may geotagging, hindi pwedeng dayain yung project kasi pati yung location ng, ng picture, uh, mag-register sa software. So if you take a picture, hindi pwede sabihin na, ayan dito, ibang lugar to, hindi, hindi na pwede yun. Kasi naka-satellite na yan. So wherever you take the picture, mag-register. So, oh, how, how much so, completed? So, how much is completed? So every stage of uh, completion, no one wants to buy a picture maybe. At the same time, we're utilizing the new drone technologies. Drone? Drone, drone. Oh. Lahat ng regions may drone. So we utilize every region, even us here, but even me personally, the plan for the para sa mga inspection. So when you like, I think these, these technologies, yung mga post projects, we want to make this a thing of the past. And we use technology to defeat that. Because this is available now. Uh -huh. we need How much back per drone? Depende. Depende sa drone. So uh, it can range from 50,000. Depende kung professional drone. Uh -huh. So it really pages. Uh, Tsaka you have to register it with an NPC. Uh -huh. So, DPWH drones are registered with the... Yes, of course, we're registered. Kasi, ma-ano kasi... Minsan, in-outsource din namin yun. May, meron din mga professional droning companies. So, oh. pakit, medyo malaki yung trabaho. Pwede nyo na-outsource. So, right now, I think, uh, at least you can also admit it, na most of your projects were inherited. So, you were completing most of them. So, how far, how many of those unfinished projects you have inherited that you might now completed? I don't have an exact number. For me, it's important to me. For me, I don't want to politicize the project. It's not because it's a simple thing. There are some projects, panahon, 1990s, panahon, three presidents ago, hindi pa natatapos. So, for me, all these projects, mga proyekto ito ng Pilipino. Yeah. So, no one owns these projects. I don't own these projects. No one owns these projects. But it's my, it's our duty to finish them all. Oh. So, pati yung mga legacy projects natin, not only are we gonna finish them, we'll finish them faster. Uh -huh. So, ay, ako, ina, para sa akin, it doesn't matter. I, I, I don't like politicizing the projects of the DPWH. I, I just want, I just want to give my reassurance to everyone that all projects, regardless of who started it or when it started, we will finish it. Because, uh, like I said, napakalaki ng deficit at laki ng pangangailangan. And people are suffering because dahil sa traffic, dahil sa flood, dahil sa baka. So, you know, it's, I think it's, it's our duty not to politicize this and just to make sure that we make act like professionals and do our work like professionals. As I was telling you a while ago, one classic na natawag na kawako doon hapag nalawag ka last year, in the middle of floods, you were checking the map sa silo, ano yung pangalan nun? May silo po. May silo. And you were telling the contractor, if you don't finish this on your promised date, we're gonna swim on the floods. Susiling siya. Not tayo. Kaya kami magsusiling po doon. May gold pit gulat na yun. Ano, minsan kailangan ko rin. 
enforce yung mga, you have to be strict sa enforcement ng deadlines. Ganun din sa private sector. Pag kailangan, tapos yun, kailangan may penalty pag hindi natapos yung project. On the other hand, incentives is not something. Incentives. Pag uh, magkataan trabaho, you award them. It's a basic, yeah, very, basic, uh, very basic management principles mm -hmm. that uh, we're utilizing. Yeah, we have to align incentives always. Mm -hmm. so that's what, uh, that was, uh, what I, that is what I try to do sa TPW. Align incentives so that people are, uh, uh, people are inclined to work for the benefit of the DPW. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And on the other hand, if you incentivize those who do good, then we have blacklist some digital projects. Yes, yes, we're very strict now. Uh, if, uh, I'm, 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 uh, of course, we're implementing projects now, but rest assured, the projects now, and the contractors na pasaway, uh, we will not hesitate to blacklist those who are who don't who fail to meet the standards of the DPWH, and those, especially those who engage in any kind of uh, uh, okay. corruption or hanky panky, effectively okay. zero tolerance. But you know, the president. Uh, it's very firm on that, that I am in a part that, that that is what we uh, uh, do enforce in the DPWH. So, yung mga, how many are blacklist? How many? Well, a lot of projects are ongoing now, so we'll, uh, let's wait for the implementation of our existing. To be, we want to be fair all, that dapat fair din. Pag uh, hindi natapos, since uh, many of our projects this year are in process, we'll have to, siguro second half of the year, dun, dun kami, uh, dun, dun namin ni, yeah, analyze kung, uh, na kung masama or maganda yung performance ng mga contractors. Well, I was still a young reporter. I um, Lagi nasa top three most corrupt agencies, Bureau of Cosmos, DPWH. Yan ang lagi naglalaban sa top one and two. And now, um, since credit to your previous predecessor and predecessor was Dave Simpson, uh, literally, naging malinis ang DPWH. Even when I went to his office one time, na ano, madulas-dulas ako doon sa office sa kanilisan. Pero ang problem naman sa kanya, nag-understanding. Like Parang nagkaroon ng sobrang self-righteousness na hindi nag-move ang mga projects. And you have inherited that problem. Well, uh, so how do you balance things out? Well, of course, uh, well, of course, my human predecessor was uh, he's a professional, and uh, I respect him. I have the highest respect for him. In fact, but uh, kailangan ko ng advice is very very important. So it's but but it's a it's a tool of the litigation and advice. So I think it's important that the uh, mga best practices before we want to adopt the best practices and improve on those. Uh, that need improvement. Halimbawa, itong uh, underspending. Kaya uh, na parang ang uh, DAP issue dahil sa underspending, oh. diba? And now, obviously, there's wala nang, wala nang this, this budget is free of DAP. Uh, so, we have to, that's why, when I, yung pinanggit po ko kanina, uh, yung, incentive, yung incentive program ng DPWH, yung uh, aligning incentives and using analytics, that's why it's important that uh, ma-monitor to at ma-enforce. Kaya, Kaya ako naman, natutuwa naman ako this year. Because, because of the professionalism of the people in DPWH, I think if you set a good example, they will follow. And uh, so far, what we're seeing is uh, maganda naman ang performance and in terms of absorptive. Kahit na mas malaki yung budget this year, mas mataas pa rin yung uh, percentage-wise yung absorptive capacity this year. We're able to achieve that uh, through, through uh, strict enforcement of uh, DPWH policies. Magagaling naman yung employees sa DPWH, marami kami, marami, more than 10,000 engineers. Yeah. There is no, walang katapa in terms of uh, an engineering department, walang katapa ng DPWH. Uh, there's no organization that has more than 10,000 engineers that can boost. So, you have 10, more than 10,000 engineers in the DPWH. So, in terms of uh, uh, capability, uh, well, there's no, it's unlike any other organization. Kaya, uh, malaki rin ang capability ng DPWH at kaya niyang implement. It's just a matter of uh, organizing it properly and organizing the incentives. And since you mentioned about that, how about PDAP? Everything is line item budgeting. You can check it. Uh, all these are line item budgeting. Wala nang, there's no more uh, um, discretionary. Sinasabi ng mga discretionary. Wala na, this is all, everything is line item budgeting. Everything is an item. So, uh, and a lot of our, we have a lot of programs for uh, 
sa planning para sa budgeting. Pero yung mga convergence programs, traffic congestion programs, uh, resiliency programs para sa flooding, para sa mga effects ng uh, global warming. So, as much as possible, yung lahat ng programa sa TV, lahat ng infrastructure TV is, is part of a master plan. Okay. No more mga... Hindi na yung random na random. Mostly, we, as much as possible, uh, we try to stay in mind with our primary mandate. Being a former congressman and now you know how it is naman to have your budget supported sa DPWH without a PITA, so how do you do to those congressmen? Well, uh, it's, it's not... Uh, ay congressman, they can, eh, siyempre, alam nila yung lugar nila. And if they want to recommend certain projects that they feel, we'll, uh, we'll study it also. We'll include that in our, uh, we can include that in our, uh, we can include that for consideration. Uh, well, I mean, of course, uh, every... Wala ka bang alas? Basta bawal yung mga welcomes, meal, uh, we discourage, we don't have yung mga ganyan. Ang priority na mabibigyan. Ang priority namin is, uh, of course, uh, our national roads, we call it, our priority for is completion of national roads, completing of paving of national roads. Yung lang pwede sa mag-qualify. Opo, tapos meron of course, the resiliency, yung mga flooding, yung mga, uh, sa mga ating mga rivers. And then, of course, we have our new roads, kasama din po yan, it's priority. At yung convergence programs, which is, uh, we expanded our convergence programs. Ito po ay, ang convergence po ay partnership sa mga ibang departments. Sila, tumutulong sila para i-identify yung mga local roads na makakatulong sa, halimbawa, sa agriculture or sa trade industry. Uh, kasi siyempre, may capability sila doon. May mas malaki ang kaalaman nila tungkol sa uh, department nila. So, naka-identify din sila ng mga local roads na makakatulong sa national program nila. So, those are the words na binibigyan din namin ng priority. Whether it's tourism, or kahit na local roads siya, kasi makakatulong sa tourism, or sa trading industry, or sa agriculture, binibigyan din namin ng uh, priority sa budget. Basta nasa master plan. Na, Opo. No? Opo. Meron tourism master plan. So, siyempre yung mga roads na kasama sa tourism master plan, yun ang prioritized. Um, that's the only time they can point, identify. Okay. Pag may request sila, sinasabi na lang namin, i-examine nyo na lang sa mati. If you want, if you have a suggestion, suggest it to them. And then maybe kung, kung kasama naman siya sa master plan, you can find it sa DPWH. So, in the past almost a year na we in the Duterte cabinet, how do you find dealing with the president? The president is a very hardworking, ako actually, I, I'm very impressed with the hard work and the sincerity of the President. Napaka-sincere, napaka-bait, at uh, napaka-sipag. Ayun yung schedule niya, nagtatrabaho siya hanggang madaling araw. I, if, uh, I'm amazed at how he's able to perform. And he's very sincere. What you see is what you get with the President. Hindi nakikialam sa'yo? Walang pina-up? Uh, Never. Pakitingnan mo nga ito, President. Si president, uh, president, simple lang ang structure siya sa akin, Mark. Ayoko ng corruption. And, uh, and the two words resonate. Uh, he said integrity and excellence. He wants uh, performance and integrity. And simply lang si Presidente, yun siya nakikira, but he just wants, ayaw niya ng korap. Ayaw na ayaw niya ng korap. And he wants uh, yung performance and excellence. So, if you have to sum it up in two words, integrity and excellence. And that's what we, that's the two words that we uh, use, our guiding principles that we give up with I think one of the problems that we will have later on is a massive rehabilitation reconstruction of Marawi City. And there are the proposals to have it funded by as much as 20 billion. Does DPWH have extra funds to rebuild Marawi? Yes, we have funds for uh, for disaster that can be... The In this DPL. case, man-made disaster. Yes. But with these are... These are, we have funds precisely for this situation, and then we can, uh, we can add on to that. So we will reconstruct Marawi. And the President has made that clear, and that's what we will do. He said, uh, we will reconstruct Marawi uh, uh, after this is done, uh, when this uh, incident is done. Tuktukan namin ng reconstruction and rehabilitation of Marawi. And mostly of, na ano natin, yung mga school facilities, di ba? Lahat po. Yung and mga school. eskwelahan, yung mga public roads. Uh, meron din po kami mga pictures of the damage. Mm -hmm. Malaki din ang damage na nagpakala. Natanong ko na ba ni Presidente, Mark, kung kailangan mo dito para sa reconstruction ng Marawi? 
Ah, uh, well, yung absurd naman kasi we'll, we'll only know kung nakapasok na kami sa area. Hindi pa kami nakakapasok sa uh, yung DPWH uh, sa city. So, pagkatapos ng... Pero naka, ano, na kami, nakaredo na kami at uh, lahat, uh, pinaka-organize ko na lahat ng region sa area, region 10, other regions, uh, para pag, pagkatapos ng... pagkatapos na yung... Uh, military operation, papasok kami ka dahil para sa reconstruction. And it will be, hindi lang kami, it will be uh, uh, the whole, in, with, in coordination with the DMD, in coordination sa uh, DOH. Ang problem yata, I think, magkakaroon, kasi meron pang, ang lalaw sure is one of the five ARNN. Yes, ARNN. So you have to go to the ARNN. Well, there's a, there's a DPWH ARNN, which oh. will be, of course, kasama po yan sa uh, is it under you? Ah, hindi po. Okay, it's under you. So, 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 so how do you go about it? Well, of course, uh, we will work in conjunction with them. There's the engineering brigade, and we will support, support that. <laughs> engineering brigade? May engineering brigade yung AFP, yung the Department of National Defense, uh, for, uh, no, for, para sa mga areas na may security issues. The counterpart, the the counterpart the so, may counterpart, the counterpart, the counterpart, the counterpart, the counterpart. So, of course, uh, Okay, pa coordinate kami sa local DP, sa ARM and DPWH. Pero Aside from your own budget, DPWH. Oh, okay. Magtutulong lang kami. And we'll see how we can, uh, how we can uh, fix it, uh, rehabilitate Marawi at as soon as possible. Ito, tapang sa'yo, Marga. Okay. Kasi, uh, since isang taong pa naman na, yung emergency powers that has not gone, uh, Eli, anak, sabi ni Vicente Grace for the last time he, is, he was here, it's now on the period of interpolations. And one of the problems now that would be in this day is who, who will be the, the one uh, cracking the whip when this is passing the law. And there are some objections from Nalo Nalo Nasa House, over Secretary Togada. Are you willing to step in? I think Secretary Tugad is very well qualified. Uh, uh, ako kasi, it's, kami, sa, meron kami in Build, Build, Build team. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a unified team. And everyone in the team is working hard. I can say that, I, and I can say this, that uh, lahat po ng member ng Build, Build, Build ay uh, talagang nakatutok sa problema sa infrastructure. At itong, lalo na itong traffic or uh, congestion issues. So, para sa akin naman, I, if uh, I think uh, the DOTR has an uh, oversight function over that, I, I would, uh, ako naman, uh, basta yung building of these infrastructures, I'm, I'm okay with that. And uh, I have every confidence in Secretary Tobacco. Uh, I have every, it's very magaling, magaling siya, and uh, very experienced. Uh, one last item before I give you to the, the floor to the questions from the floor. You have been, you have been part of most of the presentation trips abroad, China, Japan, Moscow. In fact, we follow up trips pa kayo once the agreements are signed. And you are most actively involved with what projects na yun. How much of those projects will go to the DPWs? Um, so for example, say China, let's start from China. Let's give a comment. I'm going to give you an example. Nag-commit ang China na magbibigay sila ng grant para sa construction ng dalawang bridges sa Metro Manila. Oh, three ba yung ba? Three? Dalawa po. Three? Ang free oh. grant. Walang, uh, as in donation. Yeah. Magdodonate sila ng dalawang bridges. Ang, uh, ang commitment nila ay sa $70 million, 3.5 billion pesos for two bridges, one in Manila and one in uh, Pantalyon. Sa may Makati po, yung uh, Pantalyon Estero Bridge. Very beautiful, very iconic bridge besides. And this is, ito po yung bunga po ng uh, trip ni President sa China and the new relationship to China. So, uh, of course, uh, marami pa, and of course, willing din sila magbigay ng financing para sa mga future projects uh, sa rail, uh, even sa, sa, sa roads, sa rail, sa bridges. So, even especially with, uh, aside from the financing, Siyempre yung technical expertise, importante din po yung, uh, yung transfer ng uh, capability dahil uh, napakalawak ang uh, experience nila sa mga infrastructure, lalo na po sa mga tulay. So, opo. In fact, uh, yung lahat ng, lahat ng mahahapang bridge, yung pinakamahapang bridge sa mundo ay nasa China. Pinoconstruct ngayon yung, uh, uh, yung Zhuhai uh, Macau Bridge. 
which is 40, approximately 47 kilometers long. So it's important that uh, we coordinate with four countries dahil uh, we need to para ma madagdagan ng capacity and ng technology ng uh, ng DPWH and of course uh, the government agencies. Yung sa Manila, Manila, how soon will this be? Kasi ang sabi sa akin from the Chinese side, Yung bridge na delay sa akin, within 2 to 3 days, tapos. Tagi naman 2 to 3 days pa. Uh, <laughs> pa 2 years. Kasi yung kasi, kasi yung 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 uh, ang hinihintay na lang namin yung release ng photo sa uh, from China. So pag na-release na yan, this, no? this year, hindi eh, po, uh, China po. Kasi okay. sila yung bibigay ng oh, yeah. photo. So sila rin nang gagawa ng trip. So of course, uh, I don't want to, ayaw ko naman i-preempt ang ating mga uh, kaibigan sa China. Uh, so, but at this stage, I can report that we've already, on our part, Tapos na po tayo sa feasibility study stage, lahat ng requirements na lang, tapos na. Uh -huh. So it's ready for construction this year. This year. Our target, ang target uh, is by this year, uh, masimulan na itong dalawang bridges uh -huh. na pinunit ng China. Na uh, with DPDs. And okay. I think it, I think it's uh, to, and oh, of course uh, depending on the technology. Uh, of course, I, I would defer first to the our Chinese counterparts because they should have done that. Why are they not prepared for construction? Yeah, because they have to do three days to prepare for that. Well, it might be longer than two days. Might be longer than two days. Uh, maybe longer than two to three days. Okay. I, but I, again, I, I don't want to preempt. Oh, yeah. I don't want to preempt. Magandang niya na magandang technology yeah. na transfer sa akin kung tayo may ganyan. And this is a, it's a, a solid example of uh, yung benefits ng mga foreign trips natin. It's important kasi ito yung mga neighbors natin. May capability sila. And willing naman sila magpigay ng tulong. Willing naman. And China is very open. Even Japan. Very willing to give us a... Uh, uh, help in the form of grant and technology and capacity building and loans, soft loans. So, uh, napakalaking bagay po at... Uh, uh, yung subway? Sa yun ba yung subway? Sa DOTR po. But uh, I'm part of the steering committee sa subway and uh, uh, tapos na po yung feasible. It's an, it's an advanced stage of planning already. So, uh, in the near future, uh, masisimula na po yung subway sa Manila. Kasi tapos na po yung feasibility study. So, ginagawa na po yung detailed engineering. How about you, sir? Possibly, you're back off. Kasi China is uh, the biggest use of panel and other ways used. Recently, China signed an agreement with whom? With Panama. And you see the ability to China. Okay. Yung uh, Panama, China, waterway. Yung ba daw? And you see the ability to China. Panama Waterway. Uh, parang kanal, yung Panama Kanal. Ah, yung kanal? Uh, uh, ah. Kasi yung Pasig River natin pwede na. Ah, uh, well, yung, well, if you're, yung, para yung project similar to the Panama Kanal, ah, uh, medyo, ano yan, malaking undertaking yan, wala pa, wala pang, for, for, ano, yung mga shipping, yung mga, ah. Pang ano yan, uh, mahilap eh. <laughs> Pero, I don't know kung kasa yun sa Pasig River. But, ah, uh, sa Pasig River naman, meron kami Metro Manila flood, ah, uh, uh, Metro Manila Master Plan for Flooding. Kasama po yung uh, upgrading. And if you can see, makikita nyo po yung continuous po yung revetment and upgrading ng Pasig River. Kini-clear namin yung continuous po yan. Every year, nagalagyan namin ng budget. Kasama po yan sa Master Plan. Uh, and if you see, there's a... Uh, if you actually, pwede nyo inspecting the river, makikita nyo marami na kami ginawang revetment structures doon para lumaki yung volume at... Uh, uh, yung kayo po yung yung volume capacity ng uh, Pasig River. So continuous naman po yan. Before we started, uh, Secretary Mark told me that he will be turning a year older this August and I was just thinking aloud. He, uh, is there any political plans for Senator Mark? Ay, Senator, is Secretary Mark. <laughs> Politika, ayaw ko. Alam mo, itong first year, parang piling ko sampung taon na eh. <laughs> Tumanda ako ng sampung taon eh. <laughs> But uh, you political uh, and the uh, you know, I mean, uh, okay, 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 Ah, uh, she's a party list. Uh, party list siya ngayon. Ah, party list. And when, pag may vacancy po kasi, uh, nag-assign sila ng isang oh. caretaker for the district. So, siya naman caretaker ng... Ano pa party list niya, no? Ah, uh, Diwa. Ah, uh, Diwa. Diwa. Okay. Diwa. 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 Diwa
good for us as Filipinos folks. Yes, masipat, masipat, masipat po ng masawa ko. It's very magaling po. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll now open the floor to questions. Please introduce yourself first. Uh, Pat, ikaw may ingay dyan. Sir, may nabanggit si Pat Santos Tribune sa SSS. Sir, may nabanggit dito si Secretary, Secretary Jock, no? I think 16 bridges. Hindi uh -huh. tayo ano ni Kesker dito. 16. Ano na exactly? Uh, baka ang binanggit na po yung bridges across Pasig. Which is, uh, I think Metro Manila is full of that. Meron kami ng plano for up uh, to uh, more. Siguro actually umabot. Originally 12 bridges, pero mukhang madadagdagan po yung bridges. This is para madito yes, kasi sa ngayon po, kukunan tayo sa mga bridges across Pasig. Uh, at ang napakalaki ng volume uh, across Guadalupe at C5, doon nakakoncentrate. So ang plano namin, para madito yes yung Guadalupe at yung C5, Gagawa kami ng additional pages up to uh, more than, uh, actually more than 13 eventually. Uh, Magagandang sa pages ako. This is part of our decongestion program. And si Arias, si Arias, si Arias, si Arias. Opo. Pero yung de decongestion po, nilinawin ko lang po, yung decongestion natin is nationwide. So all cities will benefit from this. Uh, may pinanggit ako, may, meron, meron kaming master plan for the whole of, uh, wow, yung Luzon, yung Luzon Spine. Uh, Luzon Spine Road Network. That's a series of 18 projects that will eventually connect uh, the northernmost uh, La Union all the way to Bicol via high-speed highway. And we'll accomplish this before Tawang we'll Tapos in 38 President of Six Years. Sir, isa ba ang nagagawa ng reporter ng may hila? May nagsisang tuloy na reporter. Ano po? Politics and... Ano po? 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 Sa Manila? Sa Manila? Ay, mayor po kay mayor. I know, yun ang pinaka... Hindi talaga. Pero ang sasabi ko na ngayon, hindi talaga. I-clear ko na ngayon. Ay, hindi ko nga alam kung saan. Paano si Manila? Paano lang siya sa Manila? Hindi ko alam kung ba't kumalat yan. Siguro, ma'am, baka mas malaki po ang chance na kayo po tumakbo sa Manila. Hindi po tondo. Tondo, dumaki po siya sa Tondo, pero uh, uh, sa, sa, pero para clear na, hindi po siya tatakbo sa Manila. Hindi tatakbo. As mayor or anything, or uh, kahit anong mga position, hindi, hindi po siya tatakbo sa Manila. At least para clear na po. Ayan, <laughs> yun lang, yun lang. Yun lang, yun lang. Yun lang, yun lang. Yun lang, yun lang. Yun lang, Hindi ko nga ano, paano simula yun. Ah, 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 paano kumalat. Pero definitely hindi po. Yun lang. Evelyn? Evelyn? Okay, come here. Evelyn, come here. You are... Wanted. Sorry, Ms. Adelan, Health Control Project, sir. Tanong ko lang yung status ng sublimity interceptor since ilang years na po yun. Well, natapos na yung civil works ng blueprint interceptor. Ang ginagawa namin ngayon, yung pumping station sa dulo. We had to add this para mapabilis yung flow ng tubig. So that is, we will, we pinagawa po this year. So pag natapos na yan, mas talong mapapawasan po yung traffic ay yung bahat po sa Manila. Ako, habang tayo pa yung mga tayo. Yung sa Manila, sa Manila, sa Manila, sa ก็ยังไงก็ยังแคชเพย์เซนต์ของนั้นที่ที่พวกที่มาเซ็นต์ยูเอสดีแต่ก็ยังไงก็ยังแคชเพย์เซนต์ของนั้นที่ที่พวก
parang nagiging common na yung paggamit ng drone. So, I think, and, and lalo na po sa digital ways, napakalang bagay kasi makikita mo na mas ma-appreciate namin yung alignment ng mga projects pag may drone technology. Kasi pag may air, iba talaga pag may air, yung makikita mo kung meron mga, kung ano yung mga challenges sa kind of way. So, hindi lang, I think, anyway, like, kami, yung, yung paggamit ng drone, that's um, institutionalized na po. Uh, that's part, kasama na po sa planning namin. In fact, lahat po ng, minsan sa website ko, pinapost ko yung mga drone shots na kinukuha sa mga, ako. Anong website mo? Uh, Facebook po, Mark Vigar. Sa Mark Vigar, sa search nyo lang ako, makikita nyo po sa Facebook. Uh -huh. Para matagkagan naman yung, ano po, yung mga uh, followers ko na sa live. Tapos and sir, um, dalawa pa, yung resiliency projects, are you planning to integrate solar roads or the technology well, here? Well, um, uh, of course, uh, yung solar more for lighting, which is uh, uh, kasama na, we want to do that. Kasi lalo sa may mga areas na uh, wala talagang connection sa kuryente, so option talaga namin, on a case-to-case -case basis, uh, the solar technology is there. But, uh, mas nagiging affordable na po ang solar technology. So definitely kasama po yan sa uh, future uh, lighting uh, requirements ng DPW pag may mga national roads. But of course at this time, syempre pag may mga iba pa rin yung may connection at uh, we kami naman, hindi naman kami nag-operate ng lighting. Naglalagay kami. It's up to the local government to uh, to uh, ele the electrification is up to the local government. So, kami naman po, more on the construction of the civil rights. That's what Yung sa Pasig, are you going to Pasig River? Oh. Kasi di ba nung may ginawa si Gina Lopez, yung kanyang foundation, may inayos siya. Pero I think it stopped in Quezon City, tapos an, hindi na niya na nagawa yung uh, San Juan. Are you guys continuing it or are you going to do new stuff? Um, Siyempre, to, uh, of course, I think, I think that was a private, ano. pero sa amin naman, uh, yung rehabilitation po ng Pasig River is a prior, priority po ng DPWH. At kung minsan mag-cruising tayo sa uh, Pasig River, makikita nyo, pa, makikita nyo po yung mga repetent projects na tuloy-tuloy na po. If you see the line we produce, in each pinawainan namin, tapos naglalagay kami ng civil works, yung uh, uh, we call it sheet piling, and uh, naglalagay po kami ng setback na may pedestrian infrastructure. Kasama po yan sa uh, program ng mga lahat ng programa ng DPWH ngayon dahil uh, ayaw ko naman ang focus purely sa mga kaya. Gusto ko rin pigyan ng pansin ng pinatawag natin yung pedestrian infrastructure being pipe lanes. Uh, so kung may bagong highway kami, like uh, sa, may bagong highway kami sa Laguna Lake, expressway, ito po na incorporate po yung pedestrian infrastructure. So pati sa Pasig River, meron kayo ganyan, pedestrian infrastructure. We want to rehabilitate the Pasig River. And uh, malaki po ang uh, nakabudget po para sa continuous uh, 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 improvement. Thank you, sir. Good morning po, sir. Tracy Cabrera po sa Kapitano ng Kapitano. I was just wondering, uh, since uh, massive yung infrastructure development projects ng Tudiera mo, I was just wondering about concerning mga waterways, rivers. Marami tayo kung ipakita tayo sa Metro Manila, outskirts. May mga rivers na talaga stagnant. Dumaho na, malalakaro na mga dahil sa dumi. Is that part of the projects na you're concerned with? Uh, it's a very big concern for us yung, yung waterways. Eh. Yung flooding, siyempre, uh, kasama na po sa residency programs ng DPWH. At kung meron mga projects na nagamit ng right of way sa mga rivers. We make sure meron kami standards. Uh, it's based on a 30-year, 50-year uh, storm study. So we try, we always, when, pag gumagawa kami ng infrastructure or studies, we really make sure that at least yung, yung the integrity of the uh, of the water we remains at a 30-year, at least 30-year, it's a 50-year um, uh, flooding um, uh, um, uh, capability and capacity. Uh, it's an engineering term, 30, 50 years. So, uh, currently, the, the program DPWH is making sure that lahat po ng ating mga drainages, waterways, are capacitated for at least a 30 to 50 year storm. Uh, that, that is the, the build quality of our projects and all the, all the waterways. So, uh, uh, 
that, that's continuous naman po. So, huwag po, po, po kayo mag-alala dahil na nakatutok din kami sa ating mga waterways dahil pagka naging stagnant na po yun, wala na mapupuntahan yung tubig natin. So, that's why uh, continuous naman po. And we've invested, uh, naka-budget po, three, we've budgeted uh, more than almost 3 billion for uh, various equipment for dredging and uh, other uh, hindi ng dredging, pero other various types of dredging machines na kung may problema, pwede natin ipahiram sa mga local governments para i-sell ang mga dis. Kasi minsan ang problema nila sa equipment. So, nag-invest po ang DPW sa equipment that we can assign to areas na prone sa flooding. Uh, Follow up lang po kasi yung sinasabi ng King Paper na uh, ako po senior citizen ng Kapo. Hindi pa ako nakakita ng initiative ng, ng government na Baba, dahil nung river sa Marilal, yung river lang ko sa amin, hanggang ngayon, stagnant, lalo yung dumami na. Well, uh, of course, uh, hindi naman perfect yung programa ng DPWH. At uh, of course, syempre, ano rin kami. Uh, pero may yung Bulacan. Uh, marami po kami project sa Bulacan for uh, uh, river development flooding. At uh, actually, uh, I think we have uh, more than uh, marami kami dredging machines na naka-assign sa Bulacan area. Uh, siguro, pero tama po kayo. Kaya nga po lang pa yung equipments namin. At uh, napakalaki po uh, ng mga ng river system doon sa Bulacan. At uh, flooding, I, I, alam ko po yan na, na common din ang flooding doon. That's why, uh, kasama po yan sa resiliency program namin. It's been one year, but definitely sa laki ng budget. Now, this, uh, this year, we have 100 billion pesos for resiliency programs. So, yun ang uh, 400, yung capital outlay for 2017 is approximately 430 billion. So, yung 100 billion for resiliency programs. So, that's related to uh, yung flooding and anything related to climate control uh, to, to reduce our uh, vulnerability. So, marami po mga projects doon ay are start, are ongoing now. So, siguro po, kung meron mga areas na sa tingin nyo hindi pa nabibigyan ng pansin ng DPWH, uh, pakireport lang sa amin. At uh, kami naman po ay uh, nagalap din kami, open naman kami sa mga suggestions dahil uh, napakalaki talaga po ng ating mga pangangailangan sa resiliency. Is it more than a third happily how much you want to open the uh, actually, that we have built it. Uh, it's just different. Like for Alibaba po, sa 430, uh, 100 billion ay naka-budget para sa decongestion program. So, po, 100 billion. Uh, like I said, about more or less 100 billion ng uh, all the Philippines po. That, that includes more than 200 bypass roads across the country. That includes, uh, asawa po yung mga uh, flyovers in major uh, areas. Yes. So we make sure yung mga projects natin na ang time in five years, ginagawa na lang namin two years para makapapilis. But I think mararamdaman nyo talaga yung by the end of the year. Kasi syempre itong mga projects, hindi ko lahat tapos eh. Uh, ongoing. Parabihan ng mga projects ay ongoing ngayon. So towards the end of the year, mas mararamdaman nyo po yung, uh, yung programa ng DPW. Sa ngayon po, mostly construction. Yung... Uh, sir, question. Okay. Uh, you, di ba pag meron tayong construction, meron may billboard na kalagay yes. who's doing construction, uh, start and then end yes. date. Okay. Meron po po tayo magpupunta sa website ng DPWH or in, maski per region, yes. and then nakano kung tapos na, mag-umpisa pa lang. Well, una po, yung sa mga major infrastructure projects, uh, gumawa po kami, yung build, 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 build gumawa, gumawa po kami ng build, build, build website. So you can find that, that's just look up YouTube. So you can find that in any, uh, it's open to the public. Lahat ng big ticket projects, nakalista po sa YouTube. Both from the DOTR and the PWH. Nakalagay po doon yung update kung ano yung status ng construction. Nakalagay din po yung uh, project values, yung contractor, uh, kailan ng fit, kailan ng simula, kailan ng time. So doon po, we want to make that transparency. Gusto namin maging trademark ng transparency sa kumpiyan ni President Duterte. So, all this is available online. Again, kasama po yan sa, uh, sa paggamit ng technology para mabawa, para at least uh, mas matigil yung corruption using technology. So, kasama po yan. And uh, you're welcome to uh, 
Hanapin niyo po. Build.gov.p. Build.gov.p. Okay. Okay. Good morning po, Secretary General Tagupo of Net 25. Sir, isa po sa mga issue that we have the capacity of infrastructure projects po yung right of way. Sir, kung kumusta nyo lang po, sir, may nakauna po ba tayo, sir, ng task force na may re-resolve pa po kung sa mga right of way issues? Yes. May bago kami sistema sa DPWH na for every, sa bawat big ticket project, may naka-assign na task force. May, may senior uh, may, may senior person na galing ko sa legal team na uligat ng task force at nakatutok lang sila sa isang project para account, may accountability. Uh, so, so far, maganda naman yung resulta ng, uh, ng task force system sa, sa right-of-way issues. Uh, so, may example, sa, sa, sa Calax na yung, yung ako, na kaka-inaugurate lang uh, We've already acquired 50% of the right-of-way issues. Kaya tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy po yung trabaho. At ang ganda ng task force system, nakakaroon po ng accountability. Dati kasi, ano yun, wala-wala masyado, wala accountability, wala monitoring. Ngayon po, we can identify kung sino naka-assign sa project, and may timeline kung sino. Kung hindi na kaya, hindi papalitan siya. So it's very systematic na yung yung right-of-way program sa DPWH. And you'll see that this year, maraming projects na, I guess, matatap, mas mabilis ang implementation ng mga project ngayon. Lalo na, dito po, maraming po tayong project. Yung Harbor Day, yung Connector Road, yung Harbor Day, nasimula na po namin yung right-of-way acquisition for Connector Road, yung Skyway. Ito na ka kailangan ng emergency powers? Well, sa akin, we don't, wala kami control sa legislation, so as far as we're concerned, basta tabaho lang kami. We don't, I don't assume na yun. Siguro kung may, kung eventually gagawa sila ng matas na mga katulong, hindi ito. Kasi right of way, na-address mo na yun. Well, like I said, kung magbibigay sila ng tulong, okay lang. Pero kung hindi, ready lang kami. At we still stick by our deadlines. Regardless of what legislation is. Sir, may ka-clarify na po, sir. Nang po sa tingpohon dito sa main sky, may sir, may issue dito na right of way. Kamu sa nao, sir, yung status po? Na-resolve, actually, may mga issues kasi very specific, may mga challenges kailangan i-ease yung right of way. Kaya may mga pagpapago eh. Kasi you can, di mo naman, yung original plan, usually, may, parang pigilan lang yung yung eksakto lang sa original plan. Siyempre, may mga pagpapago yun. Depende rin sa cost ng right of way. Depende rin kung may nag-object. So, nakulang din ang mga issues. Marami eh. Pero, but that being said, at least na-resolve na. May isang issue dun. Sa area ng klase nila, medyo nakaroon ng problem. Pero ngayon naman na-resolve naman yung issue. And I think that I was very, natuwa naman ako at nakikita ko naman na mas mabilis ngayon yung pag-acquire ng right of way. I think, to give credit to the PPP department at yung legal department, na-organize na yung right of way teams and they're working, maganda yung trabaho nila ngayon. Mabilis ang trabaho nila ngayon. So, may payagay po sa DZX. So, alam natin na ang Duterte administration ay may pipayan sa corruption campaign. Meron pong parang reklamo at ang CCW task force sa yung NGO sa isang pong project yan sa 2nd Engineering District sa Bulacan concerning the construction and maintenance of flood control mitigation project. Nakalating na po ba sa inyo po at ano na po ba ang pagkasikaso? I don't know if that's specific. Parang nito may mga complaints that we're addressing. So, kung bigay nyo po sa akin yung information, ipapacheck ko na rin kung ano yung status ng corruption. But we take all corruption, wala kaming tolerance for corruption. So, kung may proof sila, we will action na namin kaagad yun. Bigyan mo po yung detalye sa akin. Secretary of the Economy Board, Greg Rigore po from IECT. So, ito lang po sa Marawi Blue Construction. I know you have said earlier that you don't have estimated budget yet, but what kind of way you stand by budget now to be the reach when it comes to this kind of things? Well, uh, it's your, our, our disaster budget is not uh, replenished for the DBM. So it, it's, uh, we started off with almost one billion, but they replenished them the last year. So, so the DBM is well equipped to fund any 
And then I think uh, we announced that uh, the, the president already announced that magay magallocate din siya ng up to 20 to 20 billion for the rehabilitation of Malawi. So uh, we're prepared. Uh, ano naman kami? Prepared naman kami sa rehabilitation reconstruction. And and of course uh, we will coordinate with all agencies para magupilis ang uh, implementation. So sir, clarification of us, now we have one billion standby and, 20, and the president promised. Well, the president has promised that we uh, will allocate 20 billion. So malaki po. And, and uh, we really have, meron naman talagang fokondo ang DPWH para sa mga calamities na nakaready yan. So, Pag may project na kailangan pa implement agad, meron namang kami yung ponto. And uh, of course, the President is uh, prioritizing yung rehabilitation ng Marabi. So, malaki po ang ponto para sa Marabi. Okay, thank you. What about the enhanced greening program in time with the PWH project? Yes, uh, of course, uh, like I said, yung sinabi ko po kanina, yung pedestrian infrastructure, hindi lang puro kali lang. Kailangan bigyan ng pansin ng ating mga, uh, mga common areas, of course, enhancement. So, even culturally, uh, yung mga, we, we adjust our, nabaw, sa Quezon, yung mga old bridges nila, we decided to uh, adjust para hindi ma hindi ma, I guess, hindi, hindi ma-affect yung mga heritage sites. Mga oh, ganun bagay, I mean, especially with cleaning, we want to improve also. The, in fact, uh, I want to tap the expertise ng ating mga universities para makaroon ng uh, mga landscaping program para sa, para sa cities across the country para maging standardized na po yung mga cleaning programs. I think napaka-importante yan kasi uh, ano rin, it goes to the quality of life. So that's something that uh, no, I have been in the private sector and development because I have to develop the properties. I have to do the landscaping and such. I have to do the landscaping and such. I have to do the infrastructure. Secretary Gabriel was from the Philippines. Yes, sir. 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 Well, yung Laguna, yung Dike Road, that was uh, the Lake Shore, that was a project that was, uh, that had a failed building. Pero ngayon po, meron kami, uh, in C yung C6, yung C6 Dike Road, uh, we were calling that the Laguna Lake Highway. May project kami ngayon, we, we started, we funded it last year, we started funding it. Ang existing po is a two-lane Dike Road. Uh, alam niyo naman po, kung mga taga-tay-tay, napaka-kitip at lumak-lumak uh, na yung kalo. So, meron lang kaming plano, which will be finished by this year. The first, yung first phase po ng Laguna Lake Highway, that will become a four-lane highway with bike lane. So, from Tay-Tay to Bigotan, uh, you can expect by the end of this year, you can go from Tay-Tay to Bigotan. Uh, pati yung dalawang bridges, yung napindan ito yung Bagkadahan Bridge, matatapos na rin by this year. So, tuloy-tuloy na po, wala nang uh, bago na ito. So we can expect that yung C6 Dike Road, that would be, that's a local project. So wala nang libre ang kampaya dyan at sana to. That would be a free highway that would take you to Bigotan. But eventually, hanggang, hanggang Laguna na yung Laguna Lake Highway. And it would, it would provide a solution for the traffic in Los Panos and Calamba. So that is, uh, uh, may master plan na po. The first phase will be safe, finished this year. Pinondohan namin for this year na matapos yung first phase this year. So, uh, we'll be ready for that. Yung C6 ng San Miguel, the concession, is, uh, uh, it's ongoing. It's just, you may, 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 yung from SNEX going to, it's, yung design po is to go from SNEX to Quezon City. Wow. Pero in the meantime, meron kami local road na makakatulong din sa, sa congestion. Sa, so, yung C6, uh, we're doing, ginagawa po namin yung, yung right of way. Marami lang, marami lang mga matatamaan ng alignment. So it's medyo may konting delay sa right of way. Medyo inaayos pa namin yung right of way. But that project is still online. It's just uh, challenging yung marami. Kung tipignan nyo po yung alignment across the league, marami talagang uh, uh, nakatira din. So, but continuous naman ang pag-acquire namin ng right of way. Pwede po ba mag-suggest ng mga ordinaryo mga mayanang position ng uh, right of way. Yung baba po, yung Edsa Corner Annapolis, familiar po ba kayo dun sa dating sa event building? 
tuloy-tuloy uh, po yung pagka-slow uh, ng tubig. At kailangan minsan kasi nagiging standard kung ano ang pumping station, kung mataas yung outflow, hindi na lalabas yung tubig. So, uh, effective din yung pumping station for uh, flood mitigation. Tapos naghahanap din po kami ng mga uh, catch basins na gawa. Like, katulad ng sa Fort, di ba, meron silang malaking uh, uh, retarding uh, station. And gagawa rin kami ng ganyan. Nagalap lang kami dahil. Actually, ang plano sa, sa, ano, sa, ano, sa USD kaya lang may nakatulela. Pero ngayon, nagalap na ng government property na pwede lagyan ng uh, water pounding station. Maraming salamat po. Salamat po. Secretary, may, may nakakalimutan po ako. Eh, may nag-text po sa akin yung mga kababayan dito sa Kunoy. Kapo. Kunti ko lang lang po daw talaga doon, high tide. Ano po ba talaga yung medyo solution doon? Sa Kunoy, Kalumpit. Lubugin po yung lugar na yan. Ano ba talaga ang ultimate solution? Well, uh, lahat po ng flood basins are, ano, uh, syempre may plano po lahat ng we, gumagawa kami ng master plan. In fact, most major flood basins in the country, out of maybe 17 or 18, maybe, uh, siguro po hindi na lang wala pang master plan. So, pinupondo namin. Pero sa totoo lang, I mean, sa dami rin ng flood river basins, hindi rin namin kaya tapusin ka agad. Kaya, pero continuous naman sa Bulacan, marami naman kami mga projects good for flood mitigation. Tuloy-tuloy po naman. I don't have the exact amount sa Bulacan, pero malaki ay nakikita ko sa budget. Eh. Malaki yung, uh, opo, malaki yung Maraming projects na ka-identify para sa Tulacan. Dahil well known na uh, prone kayo sa flooding. Uh, ang commitment, uh, commitment to yun, malaking improvement. Hindi ko, hindi ko makakommit na never, hindi na magkakaroon ng baha. Eh, lalo na sa mga areas na nasa tabi ng ito. Pag medyo malapit ka na sa ilog, uh, may possibility. Pero we'll do our best to minimize yung flooding. At at least pag nakaroon ng flooding, mabilis din yung pag-subside ng ito. Good morning, Secretary. Uh, Secretary, for now that you're there for more than a year now, what are your most uh, you know, success stories? Siguro top three that you can provide. Kasi of all the secretaries right now, uh, medyo kayo po yung pinakababango na nakikita po natin yung infrastructure na ginagawa nyo. So, with of course the direction coming from the President. So, what are those uh, top success stories that you have? on your shoulders? Well, uh, there, marami pa mga big ticket projects and projects that uh, uh, before, na hindi naman tapos-tapos na at least in the first year under the president's, under the uh, under the term of President Duterte, maraming mga projects na, halimbawa, uh, itong R10 na uh, siguro mga tatong president, uh, ang uh, Itong umupo ko, ang kwento sa akin, mga nakatakong president yan na hindi pa nakikir. At least now, natapos itong project, yung widening ng uh, R10. Pati itong uh, may silo project at uh, naging problema. Uh, and of course, yung mga uh, nationwide, at yung mga projects na may nagkaroon ng delay dati, I think now, dahil sa political will, dahil sa ng ating Pangulo, uh, natakaroon din po ng mga uh, uh, at least uh, 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 faster implementation. So, at least or some, like, uh, for instance, uh, maybe we have a lot of projects na, uh, that are coming online, na ongoing, yung Senado ko kanina, yung Laguna Lake Highway po, and then even for Cebu, we've already finished our feasibility study for para sa Cebu Expressway, uh, sa Davao. Uh, a lot po ng areas na may congestion, natutuwa naman ako na uh, meron ng plano ang gobyerno. So, at least, uh, nakakasan na yung solution sa congestion nationwide. Uh, implementation, we will start kung sisimula na implementation. Ako, I think the biggest accomplishment, one of the biggest accomplishments under this presidency is that may plano na and ready for, ready for implementation may plano. And before the term of the president ends, we will see that all these projects, big ticket projects, will be finished. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, may, uh, ako ni Patalong Puli, ayaw yung pangkuhuwas here earlier, and it was more of a challenge to me. Kami mag did you respect <laughs> Bakit daw, under, the, this, under this administration, most of the road projects, most of the big ticket projects, went to MP, to MVP. Um, These are uh, open, uh, hindi naman lahat. Actually, there's a lot of road projects that are... Hindi naman lahat, lahat, no? Hindi naman lahat. Uh, Naiya Expressway is not MP. Uh, um, TPLX is not uh, Metro Pacific. Uh, May bago kami yung project yung, ay hindi naman bago, pero may project na sisimulan namin this year, yung TR4. Yung yeah. TR4, yun po yung uh, highway papuntang Quezon, papuntang Lucena. From which, where? From uh, Laguna, from Startol, uh, 
Ito example sa ano sa Luzon Spiral Network. Ito pag natapos sa Tolucena, and then pag natapos na po, uh, uh, itutuloy namin yung highway hanggang Bicol. Ah, from Quezon. From Quezon and then Bicol. Okay, By the end of by the end of the term of President Duterte, ang target na madoble yung uh, yung length ng highway, ng high-speed highway. So, uh, right now... TR4 uh, ang tawag? TR4. Bakit? Ano yung TR4? Uh, mat actually, matagal na yun eh. Matagal na yung pending yung TR4. Yung, oh. yung, yung extension ng SX, ba yung SX hanggang Laguna, hanggang Laguna lang. Oh. Uh, matagal na po yung plan, matagal na po yung plano na i-extend yung SX hanggang oh. S1. Oh. So this year, sisimula na po ang um, civil works. Ginagawa po na po namin yung right of way. We will start this year. Nakakadalawang groundbreaking na yan. Hindi pa nasisimula. So ngayon po, ito yung groundbreaking na may civil works. We started this year. And then pag uh, tinataposan namin yung planning for the next phase, which is the Meson Vehicle Expressway. Pag natapos na po yan, i-include the connector, you will have a seamless connection from north to south. So yung, kung dati po, from the gas speed to, about, from Bicol to Manila, 12 hours. Pag natapos po itong highway, from the gas speed to Norte, to La Union, less than 12 hours. La Union pa? Yeah, La Union. Less than 12, less than 12 hours by car. Kasi ngayon po, 12 hours, hanggang Manila ka lang from uh, Bicol, di ba? From the gas speed to Manila, 12 hours, abot ka ng nagdalang oras. So, our, our plans, as I, makakaroon po tayo ng high-speed highway network, which is ongoing, ha? hindi ko to plano, ongoing na to. Matatapos to, 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 before the end of the Aside from that, ang dami namin bypass road sa Maharlika. So, luluwag yung Maharlika, makakaroon pa ng high-speed highway across the country. Which is ongoing, hindi ko naman, actually yung mga binabanggit ko pa, ito yung mga malinaw na, tapos na yung plano. Marami pang hindi pa, ginagawa pa lang yung plano, hindi ko pa pili. Ito yung sure bet na, ito yung mga sure. Yung matagal ng the pipeline. Ito yung matatapos na talaga. So, when I say, akala ng mga tao, well, sobrang naman yan, kaya naman yan. Hindi, ito yung malinaw. Hindi pa kasama yung mga, marami pa yan. Fake bidis, fake bidis, wala na yan. Marami pa kami nakalain na, pero pagkitin ko po pag uh, tapos na yung planning na. Pero marami, kami, marami pa kami mga projects na nagliluto ngayon. Okay. On that note, uh, I would like to thank our guests for today. But before we go, so I would like to ask you for some closing statements. Ako, I, I, just on behalf of this administration, I, I hope that uh, tayo po sana, tayo, tayo po marami tayong problema. But I can see that kung tayo po yung magkakaisa, sana supportan nyo po ang ating pahuwa dahil napaka-sincere Yeah, and uh, I can say, kasi palagi po pong masama si President, he's napaka-sincere, he's yeah, really, uh, I think, I've never met ako, matagal, ang iyong politiko ako, but bihilang-bihilang po yung patulad ni President. That kind of sincerity, that kind of uh, commitment and love for country. So that I can see, and I hope, sana po, supportan po natin ang ating President na para marami tayong problema sa pansa, marami ang kailangan na yusin. So sana po tayo po yung magkaisa. And I hope everyone can give us the same support. Uh, Napakalagang po dito po, sa TPW Lodge pa lang, marami pong trabaho sa Peace Northern, marami po yung kailangan ito. But ako naman, if we can be united as a country, stay united and confident. Sana, kalimutan nung muna natin yung mga politika. Let's just focus on this problem. Because under our plan, if we finish, if we accomplish this infrastructure, Our poverty rate, which is at 20%, now will go down significantly to 14%, 13%. That's equivalent to 10 million people who will be lifted above the poverty line. So, napakalagang bagay. Kailangan namin ang inyong support. So, sana po, uh, supportan nyo po ang uh, administration and give us your support and give us your... Uh, and I'll also give us your trust. And we will do our best and we will accomplish what we have to do. On that note, I would like to thank our very young, energetic PPWH family. Thank you again. Sana next time, we'll look forward to another conversation. Thank you.